honestly, this girl is going to drive me crazy. Because since I got married I have not had peace in my heart. I have lost my joy of living. I don't know sincerely if I will have the courage to continue with her until the end of my life. I don't even know what is going on with her. But what is going on with my son? Why is he talking to himself now? I'm going to see him quickly. What's going on again, my son? I saw you talking to yourself earlier. You know mom, she's my wife. Honestly, if I'm still with her, it's because of you. What has this girl done again? You know, the more the days go by, the more I actually realize that she doesn't know how to do absolutely anything around the house. She really wasn't prepared for marriage. But why do you say that, son? You know mom, she can't even clean the house properly. That is to say vacuuming, sweeping, dusting, cleaning surfaces. She doesn't know how to do laundry. It is impossible for her to wash, dry, fold and put away clothes. She doesn't know how to prepare meals, other than making sandwiches and burgers. She does not know how to shop for food and plan meals and menus. She doesn't know how to wash the dishes, clean the windows, make the bed or manage the family budget. All she cares about is spending hours doing her makeup and taking care of her nails. I assure you it's me who does all this at home. If I'm not there, the house doesn't work. Honestly, I can't support her anymore. For it is not her beauty that I will eat in the hearth. What shocks me the most is that she is on her cell phone all the time. She keeps talking to her friends and sending messages to everyone on social media. All she knows is TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm really fed up, and the only thing I want to do with her is to be separated from her. Wow. I now understand what you are going through in your home, my son. But let me tell you that the word of God does not authorize us to divorce. You really need to learn to keep calm around her. Because over time, she will learn to manage the house well. This is what you tell me every time. Honestly, I'm out of breath, and if it continues like this, I'll have to go and live far from her. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh Lord, give grace to my daughter-in-law. Because I don't want his marriage to fall apart. Restore their relationship, and unite them more than ever. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed, Amen. The way things are going, I think it's time I go visit them and talk to his wife a little because I'm very afraid that something will happen between them, without me knowing it. Here we go. Finally, I arrived. I hope to see her there. Come on, I'm going to ring the doorbell. But what is she still looking for here? Doesn't she know that her son is already married, and that she needs to give him a little peace? I'm going to confront her right now, because I don't like bullshit. Who ordered you to come to us? What are you looking for here? Don't you know that your son is no longer a four-year-old child who needs to be watched all the time? I really don't mean to be rude, but go back to where you came from. Because your son is now married, and with all due respect, I ask you to let him manage his relationship as he wants. Thank you for understanding. Bye. But who is she talking to like that? Who even just rang our doorbell? I didn't know she could talk badly to people like that. But who exactly does she think she is? I'm already going to see the person she's yelling at. Tell me Whitney, who was ringing earlier? Are you saying this to me? Who were you yelling at earlier? Ah, I am seeing my son in the distance. Hello my son. Hi mom. Were you the one who rang the bell earlier? Yes my son it was me. Your wife sent me away from your house like a dirty person, claiming that I was bothering you a lot, when I had simply come to check on you. So, it's you she's been scolding about all along? I was in the room and heard everything. I will never tolerate it. How can my wife disrespect my mother? Never, not here. I'll sort this out right away. I will never bear such humiliation. Oh my son, I do not want to be a supporter of war and division, but a supporter of peace within your home. Honestly, I would not want to be the cause of your divorce. I am so overwhelmed with love for my daughter-in-law. 
I know she doesn't realize what she's doing. But mom, stop thinking like that. Do you want her to give you one hit, before you realize what she is? This girl is not somebody to marry. She has no education and doesn't even know how to run a household. Honestly, I'm fed up, I'm really pissed off. I understand you perfectly, my son. But let me just go talk to her a little bit. Okay, mom. Go tell her your four truths instead. I'm really sorry for what just happened. Do you even know the value of a mother-in-law? Honestly, that's the only question I ask myself in my head. Without lying to you, if I reacted like this, it's because yesterday, he was also on the phone talking for hours with my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. But that not a reason to talk to your mother-in-law like that. Besides that, if I came, it was just to get a little news from you. Because I was really worried about your relationship. My goal was absolutely not to come and disturb you. Okay mother-in-law. I am sorry once again for the incident that just happened. Okay Whitney. Your husband and your in-laws love you very much. But what we really blame you for is your attitude. Honestly, you lack a lot of skills to manage a household. You don't know how to cook or make a house habitable and clean. Since you got married, it's just your husband who cooks and does the laundry. You really don't help your husband around the house. You take all your time reading novels and chatting with your friends on the networks. Your husband feels alone in the house. But how did you manage to keep up to date with everything that's happening here? It was your husband who came to confide in me, because he couldn't take it anymore. I assure you he was even on the verge of divorcing you. Up to this point? Of course. He even wanted to go see your parents to explain to them what was happening in your house. And it was us who stopped him from doing it. Oh great thank you very much mother-in-law. Luckily you stopped him, otherwise my mother wouldn't be happy with me at all. No problem, my daughter. I can only seek your happiness. Okay mom. I didn't think marriage would be so difficult. It's difficult to get used to living together, especially when we have to share our habits and our spaces. Honestly, I wasn't at all used to tidying up everything and being in the care of a man. Okay, I understand my daughter-in-law. That's why I trust you and I don't blame you. You know, I often tell my son that it's not entirely your fault if you don't do chores around the house. I think it's because your parents may not have taught you well before you got married. That's exactly it, mother-in-law. I really didn't prepare for the wedding. It doesn't matter my daughter, you know everything can be learned in life. I really advise you to start researching how to run a household. You must now spend your time training on a daily basis. You have to follow tutorials on the internet to know how to do laundry, dishes, and other household chores. You must read a lot about how to manage a man in your house. I too will help you with this new resolution. Okay, thank you very much, mother-in-law, for your advice. I will make an effort to put this all together. Okay girl. That would make me so happy. I am ashamed of myself mother-in-law, I sincerely ask your forgiveness. I didn't know my husband was complaining to you until this point. It doesn't matter my daughter. You know, if I fell behind, and I don't know how to do housework, it's because when I was still a young girl, my mother didn't want me to come into the kitchen. She saw it as a waste of time, and it was our servant who did all this for us. She was the one who took care of our laundry, tidying up the house, and even cooked for our father. I focused on my studies, on having fun, and I spend my time chatting with my friends on the phone. It doesn't matter, my daughter. We know you have a good heart. We will help you raise this level. I assure you that soon your husband would be so happy with you. I will do my best, so that you know how to do the essentials in a house. Oh, that would make me so happy.
I am very happy with you, for this good resolution you just made. It would make me so happy to see you become a different person. Thank you very much my man. I will do anything to please you more. I assure you that soon you will be very proud of me. Okay I can't wait to see this change. Okay my husband. Come on, Whitney, I'm going to teach you how to do something good, the Boudian, for your husband. Okay, it works, stepmother. I'm so happy with your new version. Honestly, I am very happy. I no longer feel alone in the world. You now help me with the various household chores. You know how to cook very well. And you take very good care of me as I want. You don't hold my head like you used to. Thank you very much my man. But you know I promised you that I was going to change for you. I will do my best to get everything back to normal. I notice your efforts, and I thank you very much. With each passing day, my love for you continues to grow. I am sincerely grateful to God for having you in my life, even though sometimes you can be a little difficult. Thank you very much my man. I too really thank God for having you in my life. You know, when I see you next to me, I feel so happy, because you were able to support me when I had no concept of marriage. This is why you will always remain my rock, my friend. I promise you that I will always love you until the end of my life. I know that together we can face anything. As they say, we go further together than alone. You will remain my team. Your love is so special to me. As they say, you only see clearly with your heart. My heart is filled with your love. Thank you for being you, thank you for being my husband. I am so happy to share my life with you. Thank you very much my wife. It goes straight to my heart. Hallelujah the Lord is faithful. I truly bless God for your change. No one could have imagined that you would become like this. You have become so tender and gentle. You now respect your elders, and you no longer speak badly to people. May God be praised from eternity to eternity for this until the ages of ages. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the desire for our children to experience a happy marriage will not come true by chance. Dear parents, let us diligently prepare children to become ideal spouses. We must know that marriage should be done for the general well-being of both partners. Preparing children for married life is a responsibility that every parent must take seriously. To accomplish this great task, father and mother must work hand in hand, to ensure that they instill in their children the values that make for a happy marriage. Because children have a limited time to stay with you. It is therefore crucial to seize every opportunity offered by each new day to accomplish this task. Let's start teaching them from a young age what they need to know about marriage. Marriage is an institution of lifelong learning. Any child aspiring to marriage must be aware of the responsibilities and demands that await them before committing to a relationship. Let us pass on to our children the values of dignity of work, loyalty, and fidelity. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 tells us this. If anyone does not take care of his own, especially those of his family, he has renounced the faith and he is worse than an infidel. If a science 5, verse 25 tells us this, Mary, love your wives, as Christ loved the church, and gave himself up for it. Let's teach our children household skills. How, they must help each other. Let's teach them how to communicate effectively as a couple, how to respect each other and practice altruism. Let us also instill in them tolerance and hospitality. Personal hygiene, how to make yourself desired every day. In addition to transmitting these lessons verbally, let us not forget to put them into practice, with concrete examples, taken from our own relationship, with our spouse. Allow your children to observe your love, your complicity, and how you support each other in difficult times. This will leave a lasting impression on their subconscious, which they can then use as a reference in their own relationship. May your actions have a stronger impact than your words. Title 2, verses 4 to 5 tells us this says that older women must also have an exterior, which suits holiness, be neither slanderers nor addicted to wine. That they should give good instruction, for the purpose of teaching young women to love their husbands and children, 
to be self-restrained, chaste, busy in domestic care, good, submissive to their husbands, so that the word of God do not be blasphemed. May God bless you abundantly dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.